Thanks for staying with us. Joining us now on this segment is a wellness and lifestyle medicine expert and a consultant, motivational speaker, and author, a Nigerian American with over 16 years cumulative experience in healthcare, pharmaceutical manufacturing, industry, regulatory, community, and hospital pharmacy practice. She is the founder of Dr. Physique Global Health and Wellness Center. Welcome with us, Dr. Susanna Adams. To the show. Welcome. We usually also celebrate women on Wednesdays, but you know, because you're in the health sector, we just thought to bring you on Tuesday. Uh, maybe we can learn some things about health of lifestyle, you know, lifestyle medicine. How, what does that mean? And how do we begin to preach lifestyle medicine to Nigerian women? Okay, so the bottom line to lifestyle medicine is that even your very lifestyle should heal you. It's our contribution to the healthcare. Because I found out that we, many people, will just <laughs> sit around believing we have money, maybe insurance, and there'll always be a medical doctor and a hospital to save your life. And maybe the government is not doing enough, etc. you know. But we have a contribution to healthcare, and that in the very lifestyle that we choose to live mm. and live consciously mm. to make sure that you know, we don't get sick. Thank you for staying with us. Do you have our guest? You had a question. Yes, the question. You had a question. That's I right. asked her already. Yes, yes. She was going to answer. She ask me again. Ask me. Oh, okay. So I was just asking about the, um, pre the preventive medicine and lifestyle modification. Majority of Nigerians are um, struggling to find basic what things to eat. So <laughs> when we're talking lifestyle modification, can we bring it down to the, the most basic practical. kinds of practical things that each Nigerian can do that is affordable to make themselves on Health. a healthier path? Sure, definitely. And that's what I teach. Even before we uh, established Dr. Physique Health and Wellness, I was preaching lifestyle medicine everywhere, mm -hmm. preventive medicine. It starts from when you wake up in the morning and you call health to consciousness. Like mm -hmm. you bring up, say, okay, you know what? Today is going to be a healthy and happy day. Mm -hmm. Even just verbalizing that, mm -hmm. I think that one is free. Everybody can do that. Yeah. Then two, you have water by your bedside. You know, you will shower outside, but did you shower the inside? Mm. Yes. Amazing. So you, you take your water, preferably <coughs> warm water, so you can jumpstart your metabolism and then flush out the toxins from your system. And then are you a breakfast person? If you're a breakfast person, then be consistent with your food. If you're not, be consistent with your lunch. But most importantly, when you get to eat, ask yourself, this food I'm eating, is it healing me or killing me? Mm. Yes. Mm. So is that consciousness? Mm. This is what everybody can start doing. Yeah. And then your posture. Is your posture healing you or killing you? Because most people are going <laughs> to end up here. Yeah, you know, you know. Sit up now. <laughs> like to is your yeah. posture. So, um, yeah. doctor, um, yes. it was you know, in your profile that you were the first person to reverse type 1 and type 2 diabetes. How did you achieve that? Okay. Um, actually, I can't claim that I'm the first person that reversed type 1 and type 2 diabetes. I think what is largely left out when diabetes is being treated is a lifestyle modification aspect. Okay. So when someone has diabetes and they show up to the doctor physique clinic, what I do is I, I bring in the lifestyle modification. You will exercise in front of me. You will mm. drink that water. You will change your diet. Mm. We will give you a meal plan. So before you know it, the drugs start reducing, and before you know it, the sugar gets controlled, and then they, do, they don't have a need for the drug because when they take the drug, the sugar will be too low. Too low. Well, how would you force the person to go back on the drugs? Mm. So these people call that reversal. Actually, medically, it's actually remission. Okay. Because if you go back to being, should I say stupid? Yes, <laughs> because if you can escape this thing, and then you go back... It, mm. it can come back. Mm. So that's why we don't like the word too much of reverse, although the condition is reversed. So let's talk about, because um, just before the show started today, we were talking about local foods and the diet. Mm. So whenever they give you a meal plan, you go to the market, you can't even pronounce the things written out for you. <laughs> so what do you work with? Do you work with available foods that, you know, within localities of patients that you deal with? 100% available and natural food found in Nigeria and Africa. So that's the beauty of uh, what we are trying to do. So when you come in, we, we, do, uh, we ask you, what do you like eating? Mm -hmm. And then we have an idea of what you like eating. We already have all the food for your medical condition. Let's say your diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol. Which food group 
in yeah. Nigeria will get you there. I mean, people go abroad and they bring foreign things like cheese and milk mm. and what you bacon. cannot find. Bacon. Mm. So we actually bring Uzuza greens, wow. ugu, garden egg. You will eat garden egg until your mouth will, will be tired. You will hate <laughs> cucumber on mm. our diet. So, so we bring in the local content. And actually, wellness is very cheap. Mm. Yes, it's mm. very. That's it's, what we don't it's believe. It's very, on. very cheap. It's when you want to go exotic, like instead of eating, uh, let's say plantain and uh, vegetable, you want to go for kale yeah. and um, <laughs> pomegranate. Yeah. Mm. You know. Meanwhile, you it's, can it's get the same thing. Even me can't pronounce. You know now. <laughs> so That's... meanwhile, you can get it from sour soap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same same vitamin C mm -hmm. content, wow. so that's how. So it can be done if you really want to do mm. it. Mm. When you spoke about so, posture, okay, go ahead. Everybody, sat up. Yeah. Please <laughs> help us understand. <laughs> but <laughs> how does posture? Oh, scary, how how is our sitting reducing our health or improving our health? Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually, when you sit, you know, some people sit like this. Mm, my people. And then you see your lungs are like compressed, mm. and you get a minimum amount of oxygen wow. into mm. your system. Wow. That is number one. Then sitting number up. up straight. Then the second one is that 70% of all directors and retirees that use straight to work, they have what they call spondylosis yeah. or some kind, maybe cervical spondylosis, some kind, mm. because they've messed up their, 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 their spine and oh, the yes. structure and mm. the slip disc and they suffer with pain till they die except maybe mm. to do a surgical correction yeah. and all those could be uh, 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 um, prevented i just completed a uh, mph that is masters in preventive and promotional medicine and since then i'm just a brand new person and I have to lead by example. Even the way I'm sitting, you can tell that I'm trying my best. <laughs> I took sitting like you want to stand up. You're an orthopedic yes. doctor, and he puts a <laughs> iron chain somewhere, drags her legs because he's trying to give her a posture back. How rigorous is the process to regain wellness posture. if you lose a uh, posture if you lose it over time? So the most important thing is that don't lose it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Let's Very not important. worry about mm -hmm. the people that have lost it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can we talk about, um, just give us um, a snippet of your book titled Everything Heals, Everything Like What, What and What? Okay. So I, when I moved back to Nigeria, you know, it was rough initially. And I thought, if something happens to me, why did I come back to my country to say I'm coming to trans help transform the healthcare sector of my nation? I thought, okay, let me write a book as God gives these messages to me and I just heard that everything can heal you so just as I was starting to talk before ask your question ask yourself a question as I'm sitting is this sitting posture healing me mm. now water is medicine we know it but we don't take water medicinally mm. we take water when we eat or when we are thirsty and by then there's already so much damages uh, done in the body mm. yes so water heals okay think about it your sleep heals you Yes, I agree. Yes, it heals you completely. So if you don't like too much sleep? Yes, there's something like too much sleep. So the study shows that anything less than four, three to four hours, uh, less than three to four consistently is as bad as 13 to 12 to 14 hours consistently mm -hmm. for wow. your age group. Wow. So there's a sleep requirement for infant, toddlers, and Can teenagers. Can I ask you about food again? Because, um, I mean, we have little time left. People always complain about carbohydrates, too much carbohydrates, and most of our food seems to be carbohydrates. Mm, so when I mean, you say um, eating healthy is cheap, I'm thinking, yes, everybody, yeah, yeah, but they will tell yes. you, these things will make you big because carbohydrates convert to sugar. So we Africans, we run away from these carb too much carbohydrates. Please, could you tell us, should we keep running away from these carbohydrates or we should consume these carbohydrates? Mm. Moderate it. Our grandparents grew up on carbohydrates because they needed the energy to trek to church to farm, to every single thing. They, so they burned those calories. You know, in lifestyle medicine, we say what you don't, what, 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 what you don't burn will burn you. Mm. Yes. Mm. So for example, if you have all those calories in your body and you don't burn them, it's going to turn to diabetes. Mm. And, and then you have to be on drugs for the rest of your life, risk amputation, blindness, complication and death from diabetes. Mm. So when you, in, in, in lifestyle medicine and preventive medicine, you always go to the future mm. and say, you know what, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to retire mm. 
and replace my job with hospital visits. Mm. Mm. So then you just say, you know what, there's something I can do. This is my contribution to my health care. Mm. And then you now start adjusting. Okay, let's say you needed, um, when you're younger, you did 1,000 grams of carbohydrate. You're not burning it. You cut it down. So it's not elimination. Mm. It's reducing. And then I want to also add that most Nigerians don't know what is carbohydrate based on in our clinic. All the salad you eat is all carbohydrate. Beans, all carbohydrate. Yes, they're vegetable, the but yes, it's vegetable, the but the but majority high in, high in carbs. Mm. Miriam says so, some of those things and it confused me. Because no, vegetable so is not supposed so to be actually, I tell you, yeah. I also understand. So some of the, <laughs> the the leaves we eat actually have carbohydrates. So yeah. if we eat that, we don't need to eat all the carbohydrates. What are you saying? Yes, you can replace your carbohydrate with, with leaves. The, with leaves. It's not feeling. It, it doesn't have to feel. It's not the, even exciting. Okay, think about you it. Gauge, there's, you know? a, there's a thing in there. You have to gauge. That, you have to gauge. 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 You can gauge with plantain. Mm -hmm. You can gauge with healthier choices. See, I have friends that take 10 cubes of sugar and nothing is wrong with them. Go to the hospital, check if you're fine. I can't change your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But if this amount of carbohydrate is hurting you, then it's time to change. Mm. Then you look at your mom and your dad, like my mom had diabetes, and now she's in her 80s. My dad still drives her around. Mm. They would have been gone. Really? Yes. Wow. But I just brought in, but that's my real story. story. That's how they I got here. Do they live in Nigeria? Here. Come again? Do they live in Nigeria? All these Japa people, they'll leave there, they'll not come to Nigeria. Really. So let's, let's, let's I'm not laugh. Laugh. No, no, I'm just joking. How for the boost consulting with you as a wellness, uh, yeah. a wellness plan? So if somebody is listening to them and wondering, ah, okay, I love what she said, but how do I afford, how can I afford it? No, we are, I believe we are extremely affordable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pay your minor consultation mm -hmm. fee. I think we should not look at... I think wellness is cheaper mm -hmm. than a funeral bill. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay, so let me bring it in another way. Um, when, many, obviously, you know, you've, you've, you've broken down a whole lot for us, checking the calories, checking our carbs, eating with intentionality of, is this thing going to make me better or... Heal it, me or it, kill it, me. Heal me or kill me. I like that. But what, what, what would you say you, in your consultation, you've seen is one of the worst choices that Nigerians make in terms of our food? Like you would say, these are the three things that you must stay away from. Okay. And the three things you must eat. Okay, so the three things you must eat is that, like in Benue State and a lot of places I've visited, the swallow is this size mm. and the soup is like this. Like in Benue, they literally take the swallow, put it in the soup, Just shake deep. it. Mm. No, even shake off the soup. Wow. wow. And yes, I've seen that happen. And I think all my Benue people will support me there for the mm -hmm. most part. There's even something called uka uka, where you literally just eat the swallow and pocket one small soup and keep doing your swallow. Whoa. It's done in this okay. country. Okay. So what we can reverse is increase your vegetable and soup okra portion mm -hmm. and shrink your swallow. Yeah. Okay. So that's one thing you can do. Two. Mm -hmm. Drink your water whether or not you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. Even going on a one to three day fasting mm -hmm. is enough to clean your body and yes, clear your mm -hmm. dead cells and make you refresh. What does fasting mean to you? Like you eat break at six and eat normal food? Or, or, no, no, no food. fasting to me means 24 hours. Mm -hmm. You're not eating anything? Yes, just stay on water. You will not be hungry. Wow. Because the first time I tried it, I thought I was going to die. Like, will I wake up tomorrow? But when I went all the way to 10 days, I realized that anybody can do three days. 10 days? days. Yes, I did. Just water. Wow. Just water. Uh, auntie, yeah, what was the result? Anyway, we have to wrap up. Mm -hmm. Good but health. It was, but it's, it was important good health. <laughs> it's important for us to just let you wrap up on lifestyle medicine. Why is lifestyle medicine in a nutshell? So we wrap mm -hmm. up. Okay, so why lifestyle medicine in a nutshell is because in Nigeria, as I see it, when we try to open Dr. Fisik, they wouldn't open us, they wouldn't allow us to open uh, because they said you're either going to open it as alternative or as um, um, orthodox. And Ministry of Health has data that shows that 80% of Nigerians, we, we are doing some form of lifestyle medicine misguided. Mm -hmm. So we now teamed up, we have about 100 staff strength Mostly consultants. We have to, unfortunately, we have to wrap up. That's all yes. we can get out of. Yeah. We can always 
um, tell, share more of your details on social media. Social media, they will follow you from I online. I think one well of done. the things that why this show exists also is to help Nigerians, especially those of you that have jackpot, mm -hmm. to come to Nigeria and, and are fixing. No, I'm just saying, when I say virtual jackpot, we're just saying somebody that traveled mm -hmm. to come and help. So, so those of you solving problems, we will give you a platform to show what you're doing. Because part of what we want to do is embrace Nigerians, both home and abroad. Everybody yes. who is solving problems will definitely give you a platform. Yeah, to but you. So thank show. you so much. Mm -hmm. I feel for, that we should just start from where we are.